Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm back at the circus. <laughs> We've we I started on these two, and I did a little bit off camera, but we're gonna get to work on these two a little bit. So let's say hi and hugs, hi and hugs to Cherry, Robin, Celeste, and Julie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okie dokie. So what do I have here? I have a little ephemera, but we're not quite to that point yet. So I've got the signatures all put together. So I've got my little Emmett Kelly is, um, is kind of the main focus of these. And then I just used up a bunch of stuff. I found some colored paper in my stash that I literally haven't touched in years. So I put all different colors in the signature. Um, I just thought that would be fun for the writing space. And then, um, yeah, and then that, we, we, you remember. And then this one, I went ahead and put that in the middle just because I thought that was fun. So that's this one. Then this one, I got the I got the uh, cover all sewn. I put some little corners on it. It's got a big deep pocket there. And this is going to be the signature for this one. Once again, Emmett. And you know, just a variety of papers. Got a little um, rainbow colored sack in this one. So, yeah. Um, there's the dancing girls. <laughs> oh. And this little clown. And then I put Emmett in the Emmett and the lion in the middle of this one. So yeah, and then then that's on the back. Thought these colors went well with the cover. So there we go there. And then Mr. Popcorn, um, I just glued these. I didn't sew them because then I thought, eh, I don't know if I want that on the outside. So this is just gonna tie around here like this. I don't know if you wanted to put it in a little bow, I guess you could, or a little half bow. But um, really, I think it's fine just, you know, just kind of loosely tied like that. So that's the scoop. So we need to sew them in. That's the first order business. And then we can play with some ephemera. So let's Let's get them stitched in. Got my little cradle from Crafty Cat USA. You know, I say it every time. I know I do, but um, but if I don't, somebody will be watching who didn't know about them and would be asking me about it. So yeah, so um, make some on a 3D printer. It's crazy, isn't it? Some of the technology and stuff. I think I'm just going to go black thread. Whew, I'm chilly. I, had, I just had lunch. And it's beautiful outside. It's sunny and everything. But, um, I don't know, just a little chilly in my neck of the woods down here. So, let's just make sure these things are lined up like we want them. Let's see, how's the just want to check the popcorn sack wherever I put it. Where are you, popcorn sack? I did put it. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Get this clipped up and sewn in. Yeah, so anyway, it's pretty warm. It's going to get warmer this weekend. Oh, wait a sec. I want to put it in the cover. Hello. Um, yeah, so it's supposed to be pretty, pretty nice. And then, and then next week we're supposed to get snow. So, you know, that's what spring in Montana is like, though. 
gives you a little taste and then it just pulls it away, pulls it from your grasp. But, um, but I'll tell you what, you just enjoy the pretty days, the pretty warm days as you can. Make sure that's right side up and it is okay. All right, so let's poke holes here. Just, I just eyeball the middle. I think I get, I get decently close. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna go down a little bit into this to, for the other one. Usually I go about an inch from the edge, but I, um, want this to be securely in there and not sliding around or something, you know. So, do that. Let's see. You look pretty good. This one might need a little extra coaxing. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm excited well by the time this shows on Tuesday we're supposed to be buried in snow but I'm filming it on Thursday Thursday and this weekend's supposed to be gorgeous which is awesome because our little Missy Marin has a track meet that we're gonna go to so yeah it's just Hold this guy down a little bit. So my husband's upstairs making cookies. I said, are, you gonna, are we gonna take those to Missoula? And he said, I don't know. And I thought, hmm, saving us for himself, huh? <laughs> or both of us. Yeah. So. He likes to send them in the mail to our grandson instead of like giving them to him. Um, I don't know if we'll even see him. You know, he's busy with his college stuff and my son's not gonna be there. He's out of town for work. So it'll just be Mike and I and our daughter-in-law. Just so sweet to still have us. Okay. So you know what I'm gonna do before I forget, because I did forget in the last journal, is I'm gonna I'm gonna put these charms on here. So we have this big one. I think I'll have hang down in. This one can be more up in the book because it's just flat. But might as well put them in now so I don't forget. Usually I put them on last and there's no real reason for that because I mean it's not like it's not like they're in the way of doing anything else in the book or anything. So this is more or less like a pendant. But I'm gonna put it there so it hangs out the bottom. So yeah, I think I get these circus journals done. It's probably going to be many a year before I do another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fun. Okay. So there's that one. Um, and we may do lace on them or trim or something. We'll, we'll deter, that's yet to be determined, let's just say. Okay. So we can put that aside and we're going to... Make sure this is all stacked up correctly. I'm thinking like this one, I may just leave that because you know, you could write in that just fine. I don't know. We'll see as we go. But there's much decorating to be done because, um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I mean, much ephemera making sort of stuff to be done because I have none for these. 
as of this minute, I don't have a single thing because I used it all up in the first one. But, you know, it'll be fun to see what we can come up with for these two. And I think I'll, I'll kind of work on them one at a time, the decorating part. But if I make something, I might make two of them, one for each journal. That would be efficient. Okay, so now I'm going to poke these. Oh, I'm poking the lion. That's not a good idea. Roar. It's going to be upset with me. But I can't poke Emmett. Okay. Uh, here we go. There. Now, we could do could do black on that, but I think I'd like a light color instead. So let's see what we have in here. I might have to go to my other stash. Oh, I've got this. Good. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Just about there and then we'll get to get to some ephemera ephemera fun and leave that hang down because I have some more charms I'm gonna use so yeah these are kind of if you couldn't if you missed one of the other circus series you might have missed me saying these are going to be the use it ups really is what's going to happen with these two journals. I'm just going to, I don't think I'll end up using all everything I have for um, circus journals, but I want to make a big dent. That's, that's the plan. Okay. We just about have ourselves a couple books here. Tighten her up. Okay. Let's put on of charms. Um, and one more clown, and then those will, my circus charms will be gone. Um, but I also I have these little beads, and I was wondering about maybe putting a couple of those. I could do like a red and an orange would be cute on this. But if I take that apart. I just cut that. They're going to be loose. So I need, well, I'll worry about that later, but I'm going to need a bag or something to put these in. Okay. Just kind of use that as use that as a charm and I want that below the book too because they're a bit chunky but they're really fun Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cute. And then we'll put the clown on. And then let's decide, do we want some lace? Um, this one, I don't think needs it because it's got the, um, 
what do you call it? The popcorn box sort of cover thing going on. Okay, that is not wanting to go in. Smoosh that together some. Now don't be giving me grief here. There we go. Trying to give me grief. Okay. So we're sewn together, we're charmed, and now we get rid of all of our stuff. And see about lace. Okay, so there's that. Um, I, th I think I'm gonna, I just threw that popcorn box into my project box because it's just going to be in the road while we're decorating. So we'll just leave it off. Okay. Let's see. So this one has the thing over it. I think I'm not going to put, gosh, it's hard for me not to put lace on. I'll cover up the, his little eye, but that might be okay. I think I'll put white lace on this one. This one's right on top, so let's just grab it. Yeah, we'll just put this on. It just finishes it off. I don't know. I have a hard time not putting anything on the spine. That's not going to work for the other one, so we'll figure out what the other one is. But we might as well get this on here and um, and drying so that... And then we can work on our ephemera. Okay, and we're this way, I think, yep. Get, get my little spatula here. I'm gonna trim a little off of that. I got that a little bit long, but, oop. Glue goober. There's that one. Cool. Set it behind us. And then this one, boy, I feel like that could that could use black if we've got some. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, I have this. This is interesting lace. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's do that. Is that just one thickness? Yes. Okay. So there we go there. And this is going to be interesting to put down. I think I'm just going to go like that. Go along the spine and then fill in with all the curly cues. Okay, that worked. And then here. That should do it, I think. Yep. All right. Awesome. 
we've got a couple of journals started. Now let's play with ephemera. Let's see. Set you somewhere else. There you go. Okay, well, what I have to start with is um, Amy at Crafty Cat USA has this wonderful, two wonderful um, pocket digitals out. There's volume one and volume two. Wonderful. Well, I went through the pockets and I kind of grabbed things that said to me, I could be in a clown's pocket or there's my ticket for the, for the um, circus. And then this is the one we embossed and I just, I loved that, how that turned out too. And I thought that one could go well in the, um, in the kind of more pastel one, the one with the popcorn box on it. So I think I might put this one in that and this one in that. And then the other one, I might go with these two. So I'll set those aside for the moment. Um, I was wondering on this one that's embossed if I went over it with vintage photo if that it's it's really cool how it looks embossed so that's an idea I mean I don't know Amy may have done that on her channel too where she embossed them I haven't seen her work with these I you know my my video watching time is more limited than I'd like it to be but um oh yeah that's cool yeah okay so that's gonna go in the one let's see where is my here's my ready to go ephemera um we've got Several of those. What about the blue ones? Hang on one sec. Well, there's this. And where those are. There they are. Just gonna grab a batch. Well, I didn't. I thought I did. I think I'll grab a batch of these tickets out. And I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to just stick one of these in a pocket. So I might keep those out. And then there's these ones. Okay, I feel like I felt like I had one other kind of ticket. But I don't know. Let's see. Yes, these. Are these the same? Yep. They are. Same circus, I guess. Same circus, different day. <laughs> Okay, so these are the ready to go ephemera. So I'm gonna put that in there. And let's just let's just get these ready to pop in. And then we're gonna decorate a little bit. Need to think about some other pockets and things as well. I love this one. I feel like that looks like either a a clown's pocket or it was made from a circus tent. I can't tell which. <laughs> and I thought this silly little frog, he'd be good for a clown's pocket. And you know, the clowns that we have at the rodeo, they're wearing jeans. So that I think went into my brain too. Okay, well then my other thought was to put one of these in each journal. So we need to decorate, and I am thinking, where 
where are you at, mister? Over here. I finally got this little clown cut out. And he'd go really neat on that, I think. So I'm going to do... I'm just going to give him a little edge. There is something really happy about the bright colors. Although I will say I'm getting real excited to get on to, you know, flowers and birds and springy things too, bunnies. So, so I think that'll be next for this kid is a little seasonal sort of thing. I don't know if we'll get to it on YouTube here or if it'll be at my retreat, but either way, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so he's going to go there. Um, do I want something like down below? This might be kind of cool. This sticker. Yep. I'm going to put that on there, but I want to first distress it some, so I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to glue it anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like I have a little, I don't know, a little something in my throat, a little tickle, a crumb from lunch or something. Okay. Ew, got that all full of glue. Let me get my a towel here. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. I'm going to just snip this off a little bit. There we go. Okay, so there's one. Now, let's do this one. I don't really have an idea. I could put that cute elephant on there. Yeah, let's do the elephant and then we'll do some sort of label. Yippers, yippers. randomly found these stickers in one of my sticker books and I'm I'm glad I did so I can use them. Okay, there's that one. And then we need Oh, do we need a word? What do we need? We need a word. Um a vertical word everything over okay um do we have perchance like the word laugh or something like that Let's see journey journal pure joy perfect I mean, a lot of them would work. Happy. Oh, happy it is. Okay. Tossing you back up there. Let's put this on and we've got a couple little fun page edges. There are those, either page edges or uh, belly bands. I grabbed these out when I was grabbing those tickets because um, 
they are a bit of ephemera too. This is just an interesting, funky little piece with, you know, with doily on it, but can be written on both sides. So I'm gonna throw that in and get that one used. And what's all in here? More stuff to use. Can use one of those in each. These are stickers that should go in the decorating. This little pocket. Oh, we've got some fun little Valentines and a card. And this little vintage card. That's that'd be fun to put in there. It says Johnny. <laughs> and then some little old maid cards elephant and stuff okay so all those we need to use them all and let's put this together um yeah and then i think i want to make some book page pockets from this hurrah for the circus book that we've got over here so I'll do that. Let's just glue this. Somebody has a die cut for this as what I would guess. Oof. That's that's some art glitter that glue that's been used and abused. <laughs> Gosh, it's not even a hole visible. Oh, there we go. There it is. It's poking out. Well, I'm not gonna get that. Whilst on camera, you can see that. We'll just wait. Sometimes I take my little needle nose pliers and just scrape the top. Not the best glue mom in the world. So my oldest grandson got his letter jacket today, or at least his mom sent the picture today. And little brother caught a fly ball in right field for the last out of his baseball game. So very exciting things happening in Denver. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, so much going on in their, in their little lives. Okay, so here was my thought. Now this does have some pictures in it and I wanted to kind of look for ones that were at the top but more circusy that one's no because it's at the bottom I just thought I'd see if there was it there's one where he's looking at the tent that's a good one okay let's let me grab that one out Any, there's a little boy sleeping with some dogs. It's not very circusy though. That's a good circus one. There's a circus behind that, but they're fighting. I don't want that. There's a little kid standing on his head. I mean, some of these are awesome. Well, let's let's just work in this book a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of tear that out. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is try and fold this. Yeah, boy, is this ever crumbly. Hmm, I don't know if that's gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need something stronger for the background. Let's just use straw paper. Okay, so I want it to be wide enough that I can put this picture on there. So let's just line her up a little bit here. 
get my tear ruler wherever it's at. I want it about there. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna tear two of these. This this width. This will I think this will work. What I'm thinking. Okay, so now maybe we'll use the deckled edge ruler and I'm just going to rip down this picture. I wanted to make book page pockets, but I just kind of feel like this paper's too old and brittle. Seen better days. But I can use this picture. Save that little bit of um, book page. Okay. And I'm going to do the same with this. Just tear it down. If you hear any noises, it's because my how a gal who cleans my house is, is on the job and she's, she's getting closer to downstairs here. I will, I'll, if it gets too loud, I'll just go ahead and be done with this video for today. But I really wanted to get another bit done because tomorrow we're going to, cut back all of our grasses and then Saturday we're in Missoula so I just don't really have time to do my videos okay so we did that so let's see I want to put that kind of like that My sleeves are driving me bonkers. I'm cold though, so I <laughs> kind of wanted them. Okay, so I can go up about that far for a pocket. Okay, and on this one, I can go up about there. Okay. So these are kind of library pockets, but the main I wanted to do them out of a book page, but you know, it's just not holding up. So I don't want anything falling apart once it's already in the journal or something. Okay, so let's glue those down. I think I'll use art glitter glue just so it doesn't warp as much. Okay. I'm also thinking some of the bigger page, like the full page pictures would make great either journal cards or full page pockets or something like that. So that would be good too. Okay, so there's that. Boom, dizzy, boom, 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 boom. This one. So, guess what my friend Lynn told me? Apparently, there's a new shop in town, and it's 
antique vintage books. So we're going to go check it out next week. So we'll see. I mean, it might be, you know, $500 first editions or whatever and not, but we are hopeful. And you know what I think? I think I might tell him when, if we have a chance to visit with the guy that owns it, I think I might tell him, you know, if you have any books that are given to you that aren't worthy of selling, let me know and I'll come take a look at them and I might, you know, buy them by the lot or something if they're, if there's something that we can use. I think I'm going to clip these edges, just do the snip snip. Yeah. And then, then we just have to figure out what we want on the bottom. And I don't, I don't know what that's going to be, but let's, I'm going to go ahead and make the pocket a pocket now that we have the back part is all decorated here. Okay. All right, so what could we put across there? I do have a thought and that is, oops running into things don't mind me um that's too big okay let's see oh this let's see what this looks like gosh i just have two of them left too oh it would be great so that looks awesome there oh yeah oh yeah using stuff up. We're using stuff up. Unfortunate to not use the back, but we could use it as a base for a journal card or something. That's what we could do. Okay, cool. And this one. I kind of wanted something fairly colorful because this part isn't very colorful. But these are turning out just like I had hoped. So that's awesome. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'm just going to pop those there. Now you could put that on as another pocket if you wanted. I don't think I'm going to though. I think I'm gonna just glue it on completely. I think it's gonna strengthen that pocket a lot. So that's a good thing too. Okay. Just boom and there's that. So that's just a little homemade using bits and pieces sort of pocket. I did see at least one page in the book that I thought would be a good journal card, but there might even be more than that. So we'll see. Okay, and there's that one. So one for each journal. Okie dokie, let's take a look again at this book. I'm not sure where it was. Oh, the mommy's crying. I don't want that. This is a, these are happy books. They're so mad in this book. I don't like that. Well, that's cute, but it's not circusy. That's circusy. 
Okay, I'm gonna pull that one out. Let's just pull out some that we think could use, we could use. There was one with a monkey back here. Not those cranky ones. Mm, that looks cranky too. Ooh, there's some tigers though. That's a good one. Looks like the tiger's eating the monkey. Wow, this is an intense book. Hmm, I can't do that. There's got to be some... Ha oh, here's the happy monkey. Okay. New. No. Oh, see, he's shaking his fist at him. Cheesy peasy. Oh, I saw that one, but that doesn't look circusy either. That's kind of circusy. Let's pull it out. Squashing the dogs. There's a happy clown. That one looks a bit circusy because he looks like the ringmaster or something. That one's good. Lal and Lad's Wonder Horse. Again, sad. Okay, it looks like it had a happy ending, but boy. Okay, so that one, I don't know that I'll use it for circus, really. I don't know. I might just harvest some pictures out of that and use it as a glue book because it's falling apart. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is grab... I knew I had a piece of coffee dyed paper left over. So, but I want to I want to get down to just the picture. So, another kind of way to use old books, though, it doesn't just have to be for um, the, the text. Oops, I just threw that text away, and I was thinking, that's good text. Okay, so we can put that one on there. These are the full pagey ones. This one full page. This one doesn't look as circusy. I'm gonna save it for something else. Okay, let's do the clown. So then we'd have two little ones and one big one for each journal. So that would be good. Oops, that didn't go well. Okay, well, you know, blessed best laid plans and all that. Okay, that's all right. We can, we can work with it. Let's keep this. Okay, 
Now, I want to look at these because those actually would side by side fit kind of nicely. So, get them torn down. be good. Might leave a little edge showing too. Okay, and then this one. Yeah. I moved. these on this piece of paper. Do I want to ink the edges? I think I might. Just a little to frame the picture out. Boy, is this fragile. So, you know, given the fact that these pages are basically disintegrating, I do feel good about giving it a new home, you know, a new purpose. Your purpose is to embellish my circus journals. Okay. Just gonna glue these down and then then we just have those other four to glue down but not super exciting for you guys to watch but you know part of the process isn't it all of this okay so I'm gonna give this just a little bit of an edge like that. Let's use our scraper. I got this scraper at Triple V Vintage on Etsy. FYI, I do get questions about it when I pull it out. It is great. I think it's um, I think it's meant for like in a shop, like something for I don't know perfect taping or something like that but works great for what we do okay good good so those are done that way let's Go ahead and get those torn down to size. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be a nice journal card. Seeing the nice back to write on. Be great. And. Ooh moved again. Quit moving, Gail. There we go. <laughs> I just thought about Julie at Camilla Crafts. She always calls herself woman. Quit moving your ruler, woman. <laughs> okay. So, I'll probably I'll probably distress both sides of that. But there's those, and that's the same thing I want to do with these. I was thinking about, I was thinking about putting them on um, 
straw paper, but I just don't think it's going to be strong enough. So maybe not. Sounds like my housekeeper is getting close. She's so awesome. She's just pretty much an adopted daughter she is. She takes good care of us. Okay, so there's that one. That's a cute one with that monkey. I like that one. And then we'll do this elephant also. I don't know if I have another piece of coffee dyed paper or cardstock that is the right size or anything. Okay. Kind of fun to have some black and white, uh, you know, some kind of like, almost like relief in amongst all of the um, really bright colors. Oh, there's, oh, that's a template or something. What's this? There's that. I think I'd rather have coffee dyed, to be honest. Okay. The old coffee dyed cardstock. Man, oh man, I do go through it. Okay, so I'm going to ink the edges. I know we're getting kind of down to the end of the video, so I promise I won't say anything profound if you want to take your leave. <laughs> Not that I ever do say anything too profound. Oh, but I'm happy about this old book. I'm happy to give it new life. I'm happy to have something a little different in the journal. Now I just got to think about what else pocket-wise and stuff. Oh, I know. We need to go through our scrapbook papers and up with some stuff. I could always reprint Joey card makers pockets and stuff, but I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to keep this just using up stuff out of the box because I had a project box and I had a big plastic envelope. So if I can get it just down to the project box, I'm going to feel like way to go Gail. That's what I'm going to feel like. So, um, so yeah, well, we'll, I'll just keep the camera rolling while we're doing this. Why not? Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm not, I'm going to try not to do that. I do have some ephemera left from the Joey journal that I did the circus circus one. I do have some left from that that, you know, we can use as needed. But I don't have any of the pockets left because I I used all the pockets in his, in his journal, so. Anyway. Oh, I know what else I want to use for a pocket. I'll show you in a second here. I got to figure out how to do it, but how to best do it, I guess I could say. Okay, I'm gonna tear that off because those are about the same size. She says, I'm gonna tear that off and then she wiggles. There we go, okay. And then I'll just do this edge with these. Um, I have something in my use it to decorate with bin, um, but I think it would make, I think it would make a good pocket if I can figure out, I just might have to cut it down, I think. We'll take a quick look at that so you have some reason why you stick to, sticked around. Okay. 
Okay, so this I want no, like so. It's got its little torn edge, but I actually kind of like that. Okay, and then I'm going to just tear this. That's an extra. And tear these down. And we're going to have six little journal cards made from that old book. Okay, well, that is crooked, but let's make this straight. It's a clown. He should be wonky. That's what clowns do, is be wonky. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Those can be stamped on. Okay, these things. You know, they're, oh, greatest show on earth, that one says. These are for, to go around a cupcake. But maybe what I could do is make them into, um, make them into a sideways belly band. That would work. So if we went like that, yeah, I think that would work. So let's think about doing that next time. So anyway, we got, well, our books should be, should be dry. We got this one with the white lace. And then we have this one with the black lace. So there you have it. Another episode in the circle, the circle, the circle of life, the circle of circuses. It's just a circus around here. Anyway, thanks so much, you guys. Have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.